Hi, let us start this class with a simple consideration. The more general purpose you are, the more flexible you are, the more kinds of programs and algorithms you are requested to execute on your underlying computer infrastructure. And all of this is happening, quite often, by losing efficiency. Companies like the so-called Super 7, Alibaba, Amazon, Baidu, Facebook, Google, Microsoft and Tencent, named in alphabetical order, you know, I don't want to make differences in between them, are experiencing a significant growth in key workloads and they are not okay with the idea of losing inefficiency. Not only, these workloads require more performance than can be obtained even by using the fastest CPUs. This scenario is turning cloud and data center architecture toward accelerated computing. This is done because accelerators complement CPU-based architecture and deliver both performance and power efficiency. Applications such as complex data analytics, finance, genomics, deep neural network for artificial intelligence, 4K live streaming video and advanced networking and security features are increasingly being offloaded to super fast accelerators that can provide more than a 10x in performance when compared with the CPU. Now, as far as it seems, the problem is being able to choose the right accelerator. And this is true because there are several accelerators that can be used. Example are GPUs and FPGAs. On one hand, GPUs offer better parallel performance, more efficient computing, and an easy-to-use programming model. On the other hand, FPGAs bring higher performance per watt, improved hardware accelerator performance, and lower inter-device latency. Moreover, when using cloud infrastructure, the advantages introduced by extending these infrastructures with FPGA technologies are even more clear. In the context of a cloud infrastructure, FPGA are essentially a system on chip coupled with one or more host CPUs via PCI Express connection. This scenario is basically turning the FPGA into a custom accelerator for the code running on the CPU. Now, this is extremely interesting and convenient because of the following. FPGA resources are ready to be used upon purchase and can be elastically scaled. The ultra-large scale resource pool can meet the need for greater numbers of FPGA resources during business picks. FPGAs are reconfigurable devices, therefore they can provide an ideal fit for changing workloads of the modern data center. Now, considering all these advantages, why FPGAs have been only recently used in cloud infrastructure? Quite easy. It is because of the cost of doing FPGA engineering. Up to a few years ago, being able of programming an FPGA was definitely not an easy task. Well, it's not yet to that point even today, but things are getting better quite fast. Within this context, if you can only hire a few expensive engineers, there is only so much you can do. You end up quite soon in a scenario where you cannot go to the market with the velocity you were looking for. And this is exactly the reason why cloud providers are investing so much in FPGA extended solutions. FPGAs have been proven to be really effective. What was missing was a surrounding developing ecosystem, which is exactly where a significant portion of research is going right now. The two major FPGA vendors are Intel, after having acquired Altera in 2015, and Xynix. Therefore, within this context, we can divide the cloud infrastructure in Intel-based and Xynix-based. In the following, we will see how cloud companies have decided to invest on FPGAs by choosing Intel or Xilinx to build their solutions.